the day 115 the poet speaks about our own self from the cause for this birth and how we have come here and how we have been feeding this thought of i the body since youns and what is the procedure for us to get out of this thought of i me and mine and the body consciousness to that supreme state of existence of our true nature poetically it is put sadha vishayam chintitam jeeva jala aham bhava adhyana janma sa ala vivekim sada swasvarupim bharave jeeva ugami janma nahi swabhave so the third line it's very important viveke sada swasvarupi bharave viveke with discrimination discrimination of what discrimination of sat and asat that which is truth that which is not truth that which is eternal that which is not eternal stay put in that discrimination and accept only the truth and the eternal the pure and the bliss the rest discard them when should i use the discrimination is it in the morning or in the evening at home or in office hmm? in school or with friends viveke sada this is always what viveke sada swasvarupi that is in our own true nature bharave should be filled means our own true nature should be filled with this right from a to z right from 1 to 0 in the sense what for everything discriminate is this essential is this important is this permanent i tell you in this particular fashion of analysis lot of unwanted things gets washed off i tell you you'll be at peace i see a lot of people right from the beginning you know right the moment they get up they have choices they don't know what to do and what not to do right from the toothpaste that they use to brush or right from the slippers that they wear from the bed from the cot when they get down there are three pairs of slippers which one should they wear to bathroom hmm. we waste so much of time on all this if you have to go outside i tell you the makeup that is being done is so bad the naturality is gone it looks so artificial people look like a clown like a buffoon do you not understand so every moment i tell you we should be alert and awake and you always think does this lead me to my real nature swaswarupa or is this live it certain things the basic essential this you have to carry on i don't say no you have to eat you can't say it without eating i only want my swaswarupa that food gives yes food gives you energy so that you can do your sadhana again food what sort of food to be eaten eat good freshly cooked hot 
food in case if uh, preferably vegetarian with less of spice fine fantastic our mind becomes rajasik and tamasik with the food what we eat that we have seen in bhagavad gita isn't it yes an adequate amount of sleep is also required moderation i tell never there should be moderation and then we'll see first sadha vishayam chintitam jeeva jala now he says sada always vishayo pleasures of what chintita thinking about the pleasures always jeeva jala creatures have come into existence you see why are we born is a million dollar question everybody we have come with a purpose that we forget the fundamental root purpose is to get back to our true nature godhood the next we have come to this world to experience certain experiences my dear friends listen very carefully here every thought every single thought that rises in the mind has to be experienced either now or later this birth or next birth therefore escort your thoughts we have been thinking so much and now to fructify to fulfill to experience we have come here now you think more and you will not be in a position to fulfill again come birth of the birth birth of the birth the cycle continues eternally till you put an axe where to the desire or to the here he says in a different fashion aham bhava agyan janma sa ala he says aham bhava the bhava the feeling of i agyana ignorance it is born janmasi ala kim so now how are we getting this desire the root cause for this desire is iness i the body think the ignorance of our sasvarupa that i am the infinite self is gone and we have come to the false world of i the body then the body wants certain experiences wants luxury wants whatever it is wants to eat wants to play the five sense organs have five different things to do and the five karmendras want to work the legs wants to go hither and thither isn't the hands want to hold grab touch things the eyes wants to see the ears want to hear the mouth wants to taste and talk the nose wants to smell so with this abundant varieties of objects of pleasure that the body wants to speak wants to experience because of the ignorance of forgetting that i am the true self we are taking birth sada vishayo chintata jeeva jala thinking that i am the body and i want this i want that and constantly contemplating on that we are taking birth after birth and how to put an accident viveke sada swarupe bharave fill the consciousness with vivek of the true self ಜೀವಾಗಾಮೀಂ ಜನ್ಮ ನಾಹೀಂ ಸ್ವಭಾವೇ ಸೋ ಇಸ್ 
the jiva that is we the limited self everybody has to think that when it says we it's i everybody has to think to one's own self ugami in the source janma birth nahi not swabhave naturally understand what we are supposed to understand is the birth it offers is not a signature my dear friends for the truth is deathless so how can we gain that deathlessness while alive or after death it is only with the source of purity because it says jeeva ugami janma nahi swabhave this birth is not natural to us this birth is only because of the desires created of the egoistic mind of i me and mine and wants we got engaged in this in, in this body and forgetting the swaswarup so just ponder on this and stay in swaswarupa living discriminatively every second till we meet next